My name is um, Mike Morrison. Um, I'm a retired obstetrician gynecologist. Um, I became very active at Topeka High during my daughter's time at Topeka High. I was um, president of the PTO and chair of the site council for three years. Because of that um, amount of time that I was working with the school, the board members noticed <clears throat> and Dr. Peg McCarthy asked if I would like to run for the board as there was an opening in the Topeka High area. Probably number one accomplishment was um, getting our uh, superintendent. Um, we did a very wide look, um, national look, for uh, replacement of Dr. Julie Ford, and um, we enticed uh, Dr. Anderson to come to Topeka. And with that, um, she has um, decreased the learning gap between races. She's increased um, the graduation rate, and we've increased um, AC ACT participation. All those, um, I think, have been good things. Yeah, we are very fortunate to have um, stakeholders who voted uh, basically two to one for the bond issue. And the building we're in right now was uh, part of that. We worked very hard to go to stakeholders um, to explain exactly what we were doing and why we wanted to spend taxpayer money um, and what schools we closed, what uh, in this Bishop uh, Learning Center that we're in right now was very important. This school, uh, we looked into making it safer because we're, it was very important that we have safe schools and it just uh, wasn't going to be possible that we do that. So the vision to make it a, a learning center uh, was, was very important in the bond issue as well as making safety a factor in all the schools with FEMA shelters, um, the one-to-one -one initiative, with, uh, which turns out to be very important now since we're learning virtually. We need to uh, work on broadband initiative in Shawnee County so that all of our kids have uh, the ability to do Wi-Fi at home. So there are a lot of things that um, we are working on and want to do.